afternoon everyone, it is Friday, this week our word of the week has been understanding, I hope you've had an amazing week, and so for the final time this week, this afternoon, let's begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. <laughs> Word of the week has been understanding, and hopefully, you understand by now uh, what's going to be coming next. So, turn to the people around you and have a chat about uh, what's the best part of your week been. Cool, I hope you enjoy having that chat. Of course, it is Feel Good Friday, which means it is quiz time. So, without further ado, let's crack on. Question number one. On Monday, Scotland played the Czech Republic in the Euros 2021, but what was the score? Was it 3-1 or 2-0? Excellent question number two. Yesterday, for Tuned, what was the song? Was it A, Blinded by Your Grace, or B, I Understand? Question number three. What was the scripture used for our act of worship all the way back on Monday? Was it A, Jesus walks on water, or B, the Good Samaritan? Question number four. Who did Testament on Tuesday? Was it A, Will, or B, Miss O'Leary? And finally, question number five. Last weekend, leaders from all over the world gathered together in Cornwall for a summit. But what was that summit called? The G7 or the B14? Nice one, so I hope you enjoyed that quiz. Don't forget, it doesn't matter how many you got right, how many you got wrong, it is all just for fun. So hopefully you had some fun along the way. But let's get into our act of worship this week. You will of course remember that our act of worship theme of the week this week has been understanding. And we've been exploring a little bit about how we can be more understanding to others. And for me, I think understanding is one of the first stepping stones to loving someone because sometimes it can be really hard to love people. But if we offer them that understanding, it can become easier and lead to a much more happy and peaceful and loving world. And so today I thought I'd share with you a piece of scripture which is very short, but sums that up quite nicely. A reading from the book of Proverbs. A fool does not care whether he understands a thing or not. All he wants to do is show how clever he is. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I know that sounds a little bit strange and not necessarily something you'd expect to hear in the Bible, but a fool does not care whether he understands or not, but just wants to show how clever he is. And actually, at the moment in the world, with a lot of things that are going on, for example, people objecting to people taking a knee at the beginning of football games, or uh, people opposing to pride me, a lot of people choose to be foolish and not understand what is going on. A lot of people choose to show how clever they think they are. And as the scripture says, that is not a good thing to do. And so this afternoon, I'd like to set you off on a discussion of what do you think people need to understand a bit more in this world? And if there were three things that you were really passionate about that you wanted people to understand or wanted to share with people, what would they be? Form tutors, this discussion time is the afternoon's activity, so um, it can be as long or as short as you like, but make sure you leave however long is left on the video uh, at the end of uh, form time so that we can end together in prayer. Nice one. Hopefully those discussions about understanding have been really fruitful for you all and hopefully you've learned something new. But let's remind ourselves that understanding is a gift of the Holy Spirit from God um, and remind ourselves that God is present in all of these things we believe people should have more understanding of as we enter a time of prayer. So breathe, relax and acknowledge God's presence in the room. First of all, I'd like you to think of that number one issue that you believe people should have more of understanding of in our world. I'd like you to pray for the people who are impacted by that um, and pray for the people who don't understand. And just think about how you would like God's gift of understanding to work in that situation today.
Nice one. Second of all, I want you to think about all of those moments that you've shown understanding this week and think about who's been involved with them. Say a prayer for that person and pray that over the weekend God can look after them and that they can just have a good weekend and a good week next week. Finally, as always, I'm going to give you all an opportunity for open prayer. So in your forms, if you want to pause the video just here and share any prayer intentions that you would like to share with each other this afternoon. And finally, remembering that understanding is a gift of the Holy Spirit, we're going to join all of our prayers together by saying the glory be. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Nice one. So hopefully in your planners you should have completed those L-O-V-E, the different ways, uh, beginning with each letter of the word love, that you can show understanding to other people this week. If you haven't, don't worry, there's still next weekend, the weekends, to have plenty of time to do those things. But um, hopefully, as I say, you should have completed those things. And so I'm going to give you a new mission for Friday. And that is um, to take on board what you learned from the discussions you had earlier, had earlier and be more mindful of how you can be understanding to people going forward from this week. Remember that understanding someone doesn't always mean that you have to agree with them. You just have to show them that love and respect as Jesus asked us to all the way back on Monday. But for now, I hope you have an amazing weekend, and let's end with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you!